Now, when the rich have never been richer, and money is being siphoned off every day from ordinary people into their pockets, how can that be true? The second big lie is the, that there is no alternative to cuts, that there is no alternative to austerity. Well, there is an alternative. There's plenty of money. Don't believe them when they say there's no money. There's just money being spent on the wrong priorities. And the wrong people are making decisions about what our money is being spent on. Let me just give you one example of that. Lindsay's talked about the wasteful spending on war. Well, when it comes to weapons, and when it comes to nuclear weapons, they have a bottomless pit of spending. They're planning to spend over a hundred billion pounds on a replacement for the Trident nuclear weapon system. Well, I ask you, what do you spend your hundred billion pounds spent on? Do you want it spent on education or nuclear weapons? Do you spend it spent on weapons of mass destruction or do you want it spent on jobs? We know the answer to that. We have to tell this to our government and we have to tell it to the Labour Party because I'm sure that none of us here want a new Labour government in power after May which carries on with those same policies. So whoever's in, and I hope it is Labour, let's make sure they have the anti-austerity policies that we want. Thank you.